Hey everybody, it's your boy, Meme here. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. That's me locking in, because I locked in today, like a little robot. Um, I went to work today, I woke up at 4.50 a.m. Um, I was at work by 6, um, and I locked in. It was crazy. Um, I went to work, and I did my thing in the sump. Um, I cleaned it out a little bit. Um, I have a really great system going on. Oh man, oh, everything's incredible, you guys. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, uh, by near the end of the day, I got a really incredible system going where, um, wh okay, so we have like a wet, wet vac um, that we had to get, like, so there are three sumps under the model and we call it the sump, sort of colloquially, but it's like three sumps, right? I don't- I think that was the wrong usage of colloquially, but I hope it was- I hope it was the correct usage, because it's a big word and it's cool to use big words. It's cool to use big words, okay. Um, yeah, so there's technically three sumps. Um, and, you know, I've completely, like, I haven't cleaned out one, but there's just, like, it's dry in there, and that's what's kind of important, because once it's dry and all the sand what was mu once mud is sand, you know, um, is dry. Uh, all you really have to do is just remove the sand and it's like fine. Uh, and then another one is like a lot bigger um, and it's still like wet and muddy down there, but it's like better than it used to be. And then there's one that actually doesn't have much mud at all, but it's like just kind of full of water. Um, so um, about halfway through the day, I started working on that and we needed to, it's like in a really awkward position. It's in the very back, the one that's full of water. Um, but it's kind of the most important one because the whole reason why we're removing water from the sump is because we need to do we need to rewater we need to rewaterproof it, um, and that was the one that needs to be rewaterproofed. Re I'm pretty sure we're going to rewaterproof all of them, uh, so it's sort of like I'm pretty sure we're going to rewaterproof all of them, so it doesn't. Um, it's sort of like how when you, one of your brake pads goes out in a car, you kind of replace all of them because you want all of them to go bad at the same rate. If that makes sense. Um, we're gonna re-waterproof all of them, but the most important one to clean is like the big one that's in the back and awkward to get to. So we got a wet vac and we were able to like remove some objects. We had to unscrew some supports, which was fine. Like it, it, they were, uh, they weren't um, like code supports. Like they didn't need to be there, right? Um, so we removed a couple supports and um, you know, we, we put the vacuum in and we had to roll it over. We had to hand it over my to, to my boss and he was on the other side. And, um, we were able to get the vacuum in there and, um, yeah, and now I have a really optimized setup where, um, you know, I'm in the sump and I can vacuum up the water in there because, uh, the water is at too low of a level for a sump pump to work. Um, well, sump pump. On the pump it says not for sump pumping, but that's just a liability thing. Uh, but anyway, you know, I'm vacuuming up the water and then I could just lean over the wall of the sump and then take when, when the wet vac is full because they're probably over a hundred gallons of water in the bottom of this sump. Um, and so, uh, cause it's really big. It's, it's like, it's about as big as this house, right? Um, the, the sump, uh, but it's all really low. So there's just like this bit of water at the bottom of everywhere, but that's a lot of water, you know, just that's a lot of water um, when you spread it out like that. Anyway, so I'm able to lean over the wall and I'm able to take the top off the wet vac and then I'm able to put the, um, the sump pump in there and then uh, I'm able to pump out the water and then I'm able to take out the sump pump and then I'm able to put the lid back on the, the vacuum. Um, ooh, that's nice. Nice. Great. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's great because sometimes in the past I would have to get out of the sump every time we needed to empty the vacuum and that would happen pretty regularly and it would just be a big time sink. Uh, but this one is really optimized and you know, I'm, uh, I'm confident in my abilities. Uh, and yeah, nothing else is really going on and I'm just hanging out. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day and a whimsical day too. I hope everybody's a whimsical day. And um, yeah, all right, see you, dude.